I have a friend uh, who created her own business a couple of years ago. She was at the time, I think, finishing university. Very, very capable young woman. And she did it. She did it. Now she lives a life of freedom. And I can tell she's content. She's happy. She's enjoying that freedom so much. And I'm so proud of her. The point the definition of an entrepreneur is actually creating the world in your own image. In your own image. So now it's up to us to actually brainstorm about that, right? And think in terms of how would that world look like to me? What would I like to create in the world? And think big. And the easiest way to go about it is to take a piece of paper and think in terms of those four pillars that we keep mentioning here. <laughs> I was making a tea from turmeric <laughs> and it always colors my, my hands. Um, so yeah, so think in terms health, perfect situation or like not necessarily even perfect, but what would you want that health look like? in your specific case. You know, for me, I love tennis. I love riding horses. I love going for a walk. Even at night, I love to go for a walk when the city sleeps and I, I love um, window shopping, like looking at how shops design the shops and how they put on the lights and what they put in the windows. It's fascinating to me. And I do it even locally in my crazy little town and most of the shops here they switch off the lights because of saving but you can tell some some shops do invest and if you have a store like that and you maybe sell beautiful clothes or dresses or something then i encourage you don't switch off the light in the window like it's so amazing to be walking the streets and then look at the, the dress in the window and just, you know, look at it and daydream uh, about it or, or just get inspired by it, you know? We can get inspired by so many different things. Just today I saw a quote by Coco Chanel that we, like fashion is everywhere and you can get inspired everywhere, literally. So it's a nature, right? So many collections actually get created and the, because of the inspiration coming from nature. So yeah, so health. Yeah, so I, I said um, tennis, yoga. I love yoga, all right? I love Travis Elias and the app Interdimension TV. I, I think it's fantastic. I use it every year. I pay 120 bucks and it's so worth it. I, I really appreciate high quality products. I know there is trillion videos on YouTube, free YouTube when it comes to uh, yoga. But I once I find something that I love and really I see they keep growing, they keep creating new programs for ladies who are like prenatal yoga, right? Or for yoga for back, uh, pain for traveling, for this and that. I, I love that. So then I then I like I stick I stick around. I'm I'm very loyal. Um, all right. What else? Mm, health. Um, for me to be healthy means to be creating like this, even when maybe right now my physical body isn't 100%. I'm in the mode of receiving because of some challenges in life. And, but still, even in this stage, I get to create and that's very important for me. That's, that's like a very high priority for me. Look at my hair, by the way. This is like Elvis. Elvis on one side and then Elvis on the other side and <laughs> this in the middle. <laughs> All right. Um, 
so that's health what else um when i see myself like 100 percent healthy it's like yeah i uh, i would pass the test that Ty actually brought up in one of the videos as well. You take off all your clothes and you look in the mirror and you actually look at yourself. That reminds me of one speaker that I've experienced lately and his very first sentence when he went, like when he approached the crowd was, I just want to stand here and look at you. I just want to stand here and look at you. And I think that's what we could tell to ourselves when we look at ourselves in the mirror, completely naked. And, and actually assess what we see. Sometimes it is very uncomfortable. And I know many women, many men, do not want to look at themselves in the mirror. It's like, oh, I don't, I, I, I don't want to even see what's there. But why? It, it is extremely uncomfortable. And I know, even as a woman, we go through cycles of, you know, putting the weight on and then losing it. It's, it's very natural in a way, even throughout the year. And so I remember like putting on weight and then be like, oh, screw this, you know, uh, ignoring the mirror for, for weeks and then be like, oh, okay, so let me get in shape again. I sound like 70 years old, man. <laughs> All right. So create the world in your own image. I was just talking today with my financial advisor and I, you know, I love to work with people who allow me to, who, who, who see what I see. It's like, do you see what I see? And, they, and those are the people you want to have in your circle who, who are able to help you on that journey, to break it down, but also who won't like cut your wings. You know what I mean? So, you know, one conversation can, can change your life. And that's what I had today. I, and I'm just so happy about it. All right. So that is step 20. What is it? I, I have the course here. 20. Mm -hmm. Step 20. Now I'm going to drink, drink tea for sleeping. Like natural tea combination of herbs there's this book in Slovakia it's actually uh, origin of the book is from Germany I believe it was this amazing lady healer she was so superb at herbs meaning she would and she would eventually figure out what combination of herbs actually works and that way she wrote a book about it and it's called health from God's garden, in a way. Or, Zdravie z Božej lekarnie in my language, so um, health from, health coming from God's chemists, or what is pharmacy, <laughs> for God's pharmacy. And so we all always reach out to this book whenever we are dealing with, uh, a bit of an inflammation here. I also have a tea for that. You warm it up and then you like... <laughs> anyway. Uh, a little healing, healing ending here. Uh, help yourself in any way you can, you know. I am never afraid to learn something new. Like these days I am big on Ayurveda. I'm learning so much. If I could give you one tip it's to drink warm water throughout the day. I know we are used to drinking a gallon of water, but that can even overwhelm the kidneys. You want to drink every 30 minutes maybe in sips, this warm, warm water, just like the Chinese. They know why they are doing it and look at them. 
what I see, and this is very American culture, like, I don't want to say Starbucks culture, but in general culture of these plastic cap, cups with ice. And I see people eating a meal and then drinking uh, that iced drink, which I know it, it, tastes, it, it is tasty. I've lived in the US when I was 17. Uh, so I, I, I know it, you, like you get addicted for real, but like the sooner you realize that sugar and all these, you know, is the killer, then the, the, the better. So, but everything in moderation, you know, I eat a bit of meat, I eat a bit of, today I bought myself a bar of Mars. I really like Mars or, you know, I have specific sweets that I allow myself to enjoy because you don't want to tr try to live in this like perfect, like, oh, I don't eat meat. Oh no, I don't eat this kind of cake. I don't eat this and that. And then it's just like, we all have a friend vegan that we just, you know, we sometimes just want to roll our eyes because sometimes it is good to just break the rules. Break the rules. All right, that's it. Create the world in your own image. Create it, but first you need to see it. So be sure to see it. See it, see it. It is there. Because once you see it, you believe it, and then you live it already, even in the conditions that you have right now. And uh, th that is the ultimate law of attraction, that you create that you are taking action and living that emotion already. You know, it's like, I see that success already. I see it. It might take, I don't know how long. I don't have, I don't put a time frame on it, but I see it. I see it. And every day I'm, I'm getting even closer to that vision. Um, like new details pop up, you know, so. And... Uh, Whatever you see there, think in terms of, okay, um, let's say that health that I started mentioning, all those activities, there is actually the, like, there are a couple of farms where I could go to and ride horses, for example. I actually am in touch with one lady already. We just need to set a date. She has a little baby, so we need to work around that. But she has a horse and she's willing to teach me again because I used to ride as a little child and it was very natural for me and I loved it. So uh, time to get back to it. All right.